Welcome to the tutorial about the modular, reusable SnapFit method I created using Rhino 3D. I'll guide you through the steps so that you can recreate the method on your own. Let's get started. You can adjust all dimensions accordingly for your own design. Draw a 52mm circle. It serves as target where we wrap around our SnapFit. We'll come back to it later. We start with the flexible part of the snap fit. Draw a line and offset it down 3 mm. For the tip, draw a two point circle, starting at the right end of the bottom line. Adjust the diameter, ending up slightly higher than the top of the cantilever. Now we create a 1.5 mm gap for the cantilever leaving enough space for movement when squeezed. We need to relieve stress when the cantilever is getting bent. Use the midpoint of a construction line as center for a new circle. Trim all unnecessary curves. To make it look nice, draw a circle from the center of the cantilever tip, leaving out the gap. Using SmartTrack, create a line to continue the top of the cantilever. Trim curves to clean up, revealing our final snap fit design. We are almost done with the module. Let's clean it up a bit. Fill it all corners to relieve stress. Then join all curves. We are done with the design of the SnapFit base module. Now it's time to show you the method I came up with. It's all about reusing geometry. With help of the flow command, we wrap our SnapFit around the circle we created before. The snap fit is now bent around the circle. I create a small circle for center snapping later. Hide the target circle as we do not need it anymore. Make three copies around the center using array polar. Fill the gaps using the arc curves. To finish, select everything, join and extrude. This method is very flexible, as you are able to position the snap fit exactly where you like. To demonstrate, let's use the base design we just created for a rectangular snap fit. First, construct a center point to mirror the base geometry evenly. Mirror the curve Rotate and copy both curves 90 degrees Draw the upper left corner using SmartTrack An array polar with four copies of the corner closes the form. Join everything and extrude. This concludes the tutorial about my quick snap fit method. If you're interested, please check out the dark theme for Rhino I used throughout this tutorial. I have adjusted the appearance of Rhino to look clutter free and easy on your eyes. Get it by clicking the link in the description of this video. To see more content like this, click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more to come. Thanks for watching, see you next time.
Bye.